house this morning, young man. Cosby, it's morning. Hey, wake up. You better get up. We don't serve breakfast in bed around here, you know. Oh, 
no. Please don't tell me you've run dry, Matilda. Please don't. Try again, Matilda. Maybe I'm having a bad dream. With no milk to sell at the marketplace, how will my poor mother and I be able to buy food? Just our luck. Take her down to the butcher. See that you get a fair price. Who'd want an elephant without a trunk? Don't imagine you would. With no tail to swing, and who'd want a monkey? Not a single zoo would. An ostrich without a plume to flutter when she should have many. Or a cow that gave no milk or butter, then not worth a penny. This is the law that seems to rule us all. Don't you try to break it, though you may think you're riding handsome and tall. You're due for a fall. Rules are often bad, and this rule is one. Though it makes us mad, that's the way it's done. Don't you worry, Matilda. I'll find a home for you. I'm not going to sell you to a butcher. Hey, music, Matilda! <laughs> you like my music, Jack? Ha uh ha! -huh. Huh? I've never met you before. How do you know my name? Oh, I know lots of things, my boy. More than you've ever dreamed of. I'm just a poor farm boy, and I haven't seen much of the world. Bet you're a fortune teller. <laughs> well, you're a bright boy, and that guess isn't very wide of the mark. Know what I really am? I'm a seller of miracles. My mother says miracles don't happen. <laughs> You say you like music, right, my boy? Right! Music's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. It makes me feel all bubbly. Well, if you like music, you must believe in miracles. You see, music is a kind of miracle itself. Well, I don't think I understand. How can music be a miracle? It makes you happy when you're sad. It turns your tears into laughter. I'd certainly call that a miracle, wouldn't you? Hasn't music ever started your feet to dancing without you even knowing it? There is mystery in music. <laughs> but not only in music, my boy. Huh? Mystery and miracles are all around us, Jack, everywhere. And sometimes where we least suspect them. Take this bag, for instance. It contains mysterious, miraculous, and magical beans. Mysterious, miraculous, magical beans? Let me look. Oh, oh, oh. 
Besides, a miracle won't happen until after you plant them. What kind of miracle will happen? Well, now that would be telling. <laughs> I can see that you want them, so I'll tell you what. I know you have no gold, so I'll trade them for your cow. How does that sound? It sounds like you're trying to trick me. No, sir. I might be a poor farm boy, but I'm not stupid. Think it over carefully. This is a genuine miracle. Look. <laughs> That's enough. You know you want them. I'm offering you a miracle, so make up your mind. Think, if you turn these beans down, you may regret it for the rest of your life. When opportunity knocks, open the door, my boy. It won't knock a second time. Remember that. So, what do you say? Do you want to trade your cow for my beans? Hmm? <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I've made up my mind. A wise decision. Here, you're a lucky young man. Takes more than luck to get ahead in this world. I've got brains in my head. <laughs> what? You dunce! You blockhead! Crack brain, simpleton! You uh, numbskull! Ah, you numbskull! Uh, Doodle minded nincompoop! And ignoramus! And bonehead! And all right, all right, all right! Please, mother, that's enough. You're right. I was wrong and I was foolish and I'm sorry. Your being sorry won't put one cold potato on our table. Bend down and take your punishment. The only thing your poor father left us was that cow, and now you've given her away for a handful of worthless beans. Magic beans that can work miracles indeed. You foolish dunce! <coughs> you blockhead! <coughs> I'll teach you! <coughs> Thanks to you, we're penniless! <coughs> How will we eat? <coughs> How will we live? <coughs> How will we become <coughs> beggars? Oh, please! <coughs> Is that what you want? <coughs> What will become of us? Oh, oh. I've worked up an appetite. Mm, me too. Magic beans. Magic my elbow! Mm. Dark! I hope when you grow up you'll remember this day. Since there's nothing to eat, I'll drink some water and go to bed. I'm sorry, Mother. <sighs> I guess I should have listened to you. There's no such thing as miracles.
beans were magic after all. Wow, miracles really do happen in this world. Ha, 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 ha. Wait till I tell Mother, why would she be surprised? I suppose it must lead someplace. But it's so big, I can't even see the top. Well, what are we here? A pretty little mouse. Don't tell me you came down the beanstalk. Mm -hmm. A mouse on a beanstalk? That's very strange. Is it your home? Mm -hmm. You mean you live at the top of the beanstalk? Gosh, I wish you could talk and tell me what's up there. Opportunity knocks, always answer the door. Come on, Crosby, we're going up. Now you go and play somewhere else. You know I don't like mice very much. I've never seen you in the castle. Who are you? Uh. My name's Jack. How do you do? And uh, if it's all right for me to ask, who are you? Certainly you may ask. I am the Princess Margaret. Princess? Then we are in the land of the clouds. This is my realm. I'm very pleased to meet you. You smell of chickens and pigs and cows and geese, Jack. Why is that? It's because I'm a farm boy. It was my father's farm, but he's gone, so now my mother and I take care of it all by ourselves. My parents were destroyed by an evil witch. Huh? 
evil witch? I don't think about it. It's been a long time. I'm happy now. I'm glad you're so happy, Princess. I guess I'm the luckiest girl in the land of the clouds. Tomorrow I'm marrying my wonderful Prince Tulip. I think everyone should be happy. No one's happier than I. I feel like reaching up to touch the sky. I'm riding on a cloud. I could sing out loud. I'm a glow and I know the reason why. No one's luckier than I. My happy heart inside is riding high. Tell the sun and moon that the world is in tune And the birds all can sing a lullaby For I'm in love And I am loved in return The gods above can see you come into the castle with me, Jack? I know Madame Hecuba would like to meet you. Oh, who's Madame Hecuba? Prince Tulip's mother. You'll like her. She's sweet and kind and gentle and very beautiful. Oh, this is my beloved Prince Tulip. Tomorrow I'll be his wife. <gasps> this is my warm, gentle, loving Prince Tulip. And don't you agree he's very handsome? <laughs> oh, it's been such a long, long time. <laughs> now, which method shall I use? Magic or my beauty? Madam Hecuba! Mother! Where are you, Mother? Margaret? You look so lovely today, Mother. <laughs> Mother, I'd like you to meet our visitor, Jack. Mm -hmm. Would you care for some supper, my boy? Yes, ma'am, I'm starved. I mean, I'm... There's no need to be shy with me, Jack. Come along and we'll fatten you up. Mm -hmm. oh, fatten me up? Margaret, go to your room. Yes, Mother. I'll be up shortly to fix your makeup, my dear, after I've seen to the needs of this charming young man. Will I see you later, Princess? Margaret needs a rest. Come along with me. Mm. 
The dining hall is upstairs. Rather than walking, I believe you'd enjoy riding up. Riding? Come along. Seated, Jack. Oh. I shall bring you a supper. <laughs> Relax, Jack. Here. Enjoy your meal. Mm. You'll find it delicious. Marvelously tasty morsel he'll make. Listen to his heartbeat, such a strong, healthy young boy. It's been 20 years since my last meal, much too long. I must renew my youth and beauty now that I'm about to become a queen. Curses, my son Tulip is home. You've been all day. Playing with snakes and lizards again, I suppose. Have you forgotten tomorrow is your wedding day? Stop acting like a man. Now listen to me, Tulip. I will not have you mooning about just because we do not live in a cave anymore. We've begun a new life. I much prefer living in a castle to the way we used to live. And you will just have to get used to it, is that clear? As of tomorrow, you will be a prince and I will be queen of the land of the clouds. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you ape? <laughs> I swear. 
smell a human. <laughs> Stop it! There are no humans in the castle! Stop it! <laughs> You're making a mistake! Come back! All right, all right, I admit it. I have a human, and you have my word I'll share him with you. But not until the wedding feast tomorrow, you pea-brained lummox! Oh. I forbid you to eat him now! What is it? What's wrong? Cursed brat! After him, you potato brain! He's somewhere in the castle! Find him before he gets away completely! Am I doing it the right way, Crosby? Charming Prince Tulip? around the floor like an overgrown beetle and find that brat before he gets away from us.
be dreaming. Harps aren't supposed to talk. Uh -huh. oh. I'm not dreaming, so I must be awake. Yahoo! I'm rich! I'm rich, rich, really rich! I'll fill up a bag with gold, climb down the beanstalk, live like a king, and never see this place again. All wrong? I forgot all about the princess. I must help her before I can think of leaving. Something strange about you, princess. I know you're trying to explain something, but I don't know what. Got an idea. Most beautiful golden harp, the mice tell me your wisdom is very great. I'm just a simple farm boy, but you're wiser than anybody I've ever met. So please, beautiful harp, answer one question for me. Does the princess really love the giant? Or is she mad? <clears throat> You're not as simple as you would have me believe, farm boy. But I've decided to answer your question, even though I know you're only flattering me to get information. Excuse me, you promised to tell me the truth? The truth is all I speak, farm boy, so listen closely. Once this was a happy kingdom, before Madame Hecuba and Tulip arrived, they did away with the king and queen, and by magic, turned all the people in the kingdom into mice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Madame Hecuba's fondest wish has always been to become queen of the land of the clouds. So she decided to have her son marry Princess Margaret so that she could rule the land. But of course, no one would marry an ugly giant like Tulip of their own free will. Mm -hmm. I see, she put Princess Margaret under a magic spell. Exactly right, farm boy. But it's a spell that must be renewed every day. By nightfall, when the princess goes to sleep, the spell wears off, and she is quite normal. But since she's asleep, it hardly matters, does it? <laughs> <laughs> she's normal only when she's asleep, huh? Stop the caterwauling! Do you hear me? That's all I've heard for months. Uh oh. Harp, has a human boy been in here? <laughs> You're the first friendly face I've seen all day. <laughs> Nobody's been in here, Master. lump of blah. You look like something someone left out in the rain. You're so mean and ugly, you should be against the law. You're a monster. You're just a pain. Scary, hairy, sloppy, floppy. You're an awful shock. That old face of yours would stop a clock. Any sort of clock. I wouldn't kiss that ugly mug of yours. No one would. If she could, you make me, yeah, sick, 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 sick.
Princess. Yes, I've got something to show you, Tulip. Something for a wedding day tomorrow. It would please me so much for you to wear this. Here, see oh. what you think. It's perfect. It makes you look even more handsome. I didn't hear you come in. I trust you found that valuable item. Then you'd better search some more until you find it. <laughs> You've lost something? Nothing to worry your pretty head about. <laughs> now, my dear, let's take a moment to freshen your makeup. Come. How lucky I am. You're always so kind to me. I'm as fond of you as I am my own dear son. Tulip, and it will be the happiest day of your life. Mm. And tomorrow, I will be queen of the land of the clouds. <laughs> I've waited so long, and now it will all be mine. This castle, everything, all mine. <laughs> I shall be the most powerful queen the world has ever known, above or below the clouds. And I will rule for eternity. <laughs> armor and you want me to fight? Mm -hmm. You want me to fight the giant? Mm -hmm. And you also want me to fight the old witch, is that right? Mm -hmm. Not a chance in the world. either. Come on, Crosby. Let's go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Have a 
it your own way. Much anyway. Rich! Ha! I'm gonna be rich! We'll never go hungry again. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Mother can wear this when she milks the new cow I'm gonna buy her. Ha. Why? Ha! You're coming with me! Mother will never call me a nincompoop again when she sees how well I've done. Thanks for everything, my wise little harp. Huh? I wish I could help you, Princess. Princess goes to sleep, she is quite normal. Mama, Papa, I'm so afraid. Won't someone help me? Jack! Please help me, Jack.
Mountain flowers, you have to climb high. Don't you agree with me, moon shining bright? Good things can only be yours if you try. And sometimes you'll find you first must fight. Oh, moon. Riding so high, we must agree, you and I. We must agree, oh, 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 oh. So suddenly we're rich, rich as anything, way up flying higher than a kite. If you have someone to love, lucky you, you must be kind then in all that you do. You'll discover that's how it's done. You'll find that's the only way true love's ever won. Silver moon, riding so high. Lovely and free up in the sky. Always we agree, you and I. Huh? Mm -hmm. You can speak. How come you never said anything to me? Crosby, speak to me. But I heard you singing before. What's wrong? Have you lost your voice? Maybe it's the full moon making me hear things. Or maybe... It's another miracle, a sign that I should have stayed to help. Am I right, Crosby? Right, right, right. I realize now I made a mistake. Well, I've made up my mind. We're going back up there to rescue the princess. Come on, Crosby. <laughs> How can I stop laughing now when the whole world's mine? <laughs> Say to those red eyes of yours how gleefully they shine. We'll be behind you, we'll be behind you in your evil plan. We've been for you since it all began. This day we'll see the success of my scheme. This day my dream will come true. My dream will come true. <laughs> your bridegroom is waiting for you, my dear, and your wedding guests are assembled in the chapel. 
So come, we mustn't keep them waiting, must we? <laughs> I'm brave enough to even try. You, a smelly little farm boy. <laughs> your wish to be married now am i right are you happy will you both stay together till you're old and gray can you stand living with each other till that day well then can you sickness or in health will you help each other out will you share your wealth you must tell me if you have any doubt is this the man whom you take as your husband tell me if he is is this the woman you take as your wife tell me is she he loves her Are you Say that you love him. Say that you love him. well after all you're going to wish you did you meddling wretch make me brave did it work understand. I feel so strange, so light, as though I could float on a sunbeam. <sighs> You're the witch, Madam Hecuba. That cursed little brat's undone my beautiful spell. Tulip, destroy them! Hurry, come with me!
You're very brave. Mm -hmm. The bravest I've ever known. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm not all that brave. You risked your life to rescue me. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, well, I mean, uh, what is it, Jack? Aren't you angry with me? I mean, after what I did. Angry? Now, why would I be angry with you, Jack? I wouldn't blame you if you were angry, though. I know what I did was wrong. I can't figure out what you're talking about. What did you do that was wrong? A farm boy like me shouldn't be kissing a princess. Jack, it was the sweetest kiss I've ever had. It was? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remembered I did something else that was really wrong. I'm sure you won't forgive me for this. I stole a bag of gold and some diamonds and the golden hen from your treasure room and took them home with me. Mm. Normally, I would be very angry, but we'll just think of the gold as your reward. Whew. awaits you. Farm boy, you've defied me and my evil ambitions for the very last time. Feel my power. You finally got here, you mouse brain simpleton! Trample them! <gasps> what are you waiting for now, you dunce? Trample the mice head! Ha <laughs> ha 
all running high, you and I. See once again that beautiful sun shining in the big blue sky. All those good things we have forgotten are with us again, just like when. Sunshine comes to chase all the clouds away After dreary days of rain Once we had our dreams when every day was fair And the skies were blue Now what's more it seems we're back again where Every dream comes true those days we thought would never come again, our house forever. Once again we walk those wonderful ways, just as in the good old days. Now our whole world goes for the years. And there's only one way that could happen. The evil witch has been destroyed. Hooray, we're free! Good has triumphed over evil. Wait! Hmm? We've forgotten all about Princess Margaret. <gasps> <gasps> Beanstalk, you're coming to my home. No, Jack. I can't do that. You see, now that I'll be queen, I have responsibilities. I cannot leave my realm. A queen cannot leave her people when they need her. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, Jack? No! You told me that you liked me before. If you like me so much, why won't you come away with me? I'm sorry, but I can't. Jack, try to understand. All right, we're still friends. Ha! And you're being happy's enough for me. Princess, magic spell's been broken. We're all our old selves. How wonderful to see everyone again. Hey, Cosby! <laughs> 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 Was I dreaming? Were you really a mouse? Uh huh. But Princess Margaret! Oh. Mildred! Oh, we've been so worried about you. Are you all right? I'm fine now. Princess! I think you've put on weight eating so much cheese, Minister. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, General. Handsome as ever. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is so wonderful. It's like having my family back again. <laughs> you are best of turkey. This time you've met your match. I'm going to carve you up for Sunday dinner. Charge! Charge! I think I may have him on the run. Once more, into the breach! Time! Have you had enough yet? Dear General. I want four volunteers, now! 
You're wasting your time. You'll never beat him that way. You leave it to me. I'll take care of him. You see, I've got a plan to get rid of Tulip once and for all. Will it be dangerous, Jack? Ha, uh, it'll be dangerous for him, that's sure. So you just stand back and watch, Princess. Come on, Crosby. <laughs> Hey, pig face, got a riddle for you. What's the ugliest thing you've ever seen, huh? If you don't know the answer, look in the mirror. And Dom, you know what? He sleeps in his brain. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. Donkeys have more brains in their tails than you have up here. Dom, 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 dom. Ha, how much is one? What's the matter? Can't figure it out? You walnut brain ape. I shouldn't have called you an ape. They're smarter. Ha ha. Ha ha. And a lot prettier. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I chop down the beanstalk, I'll never see Margaret again. I have to. There's no other way. <laughs> the sky. Now the evening's drawing nigh. It's time to end our tale and say goodbye. about her too. I hope she's happy. Jack! Jack! Bring me some water from the well. There's work to be done if you want dinner tonight. Dinner! Let's go! <laughs> 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 